Hello everybody, this is Dreaming Gamer back to do the group draw. The draw for the group stage of my tournament. Ooh, he's... Oh, we're getting into it now. <laughs> so yes, last time I went through everybody's lovely, lovely, lovely teams. So now it's a matter of me putting you all into groups. So yes, how this will work? Well, first off, because there's only one bot team in the tournament, they will be drawn in the same way as everyone else. So it won't be... They won't be in a separate draw. And yes, it'll be random number generator as well. And yes, I know it's, it's 1 to 45 instead of 54 because, as I'm sure I've mentioned many, numerous times, the top eight combatants from my last tournament are already in groups. So we have our champ ultimate dino king, Laos the runner-up, Ghidorah and then ultimate dino queen who got to the semis, and then these four who made it to the quarters. And then down here we have Zalos Ares in group I, and Zalos is in here because out of all the people that got knocked out in the last 16, he had the best finish and the most points during the group stage. So that is why I picked Zalos to be in group I, which is something I never anticipated I needed to do, but you know, I'd done it anyway. So yes, we have nine groups of six instead of the eight I originally intended. The top three from each group will advance and then five of the best fourth place teams will go through. And then if we have ties or something, I can sure I can narrow it down to the points, bonus points, wins, etc, etc. And if I if I if I really can't narrow it down, separate the teams, then they'll just have to play each other. So yeah, that is how the group stage will work. Ooh. And yes, we will. when we do the group draw, we will start from group A down to group I, and then we'll start, and then we'll keep going, cycling that way. And I should also point out that as the host of this for this tournament, whichever group I end up in, because I'm being randomly drawn in like everybody else, that group will be group A. Okay, so you understand? And yes, these are all the fixtures here, all numbered as reference. And actually, I have forgotten to do the numbers for the side. Ah, there we go. Oh, oops, I <laughs> moved the player, but... There. Perfect. Sorted out. Right. Without further ado, let's not hesitate. Let's get started. And yes, you are all numbered by here, as you can see. Obviously, the one, these guys are all, the ones that are already in groups have a double dash, so I know not to count them. And yes, we will go be going from one downwards, so I'll be number one, and then the champions team will be number forty-five. Right. Let's get started. So this this person will be going into group A with Ultimate Dino King. Ooh, number five. Ooh, ooh, that could be tough. That could be tough. So, one of our naughty toddlers, Iron Dan, will be going into group A. Ooh, that could be an interesting group there. Ultimate Dino King having some company. Okay, now on to our next number. And that is, ooh, number 42. Ooh, wonder who that could be. Let's have a look. So, 45, 40, no, 44. Ooh, it's Pilk. Pilk the Milk is going into group B. Fascinating, Pilk joining Lousping Group B. Okay, now for 43. Ooh, oh, that was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> Guess I'm in the group already. Well, as, as I said earlier, I will be going into Group... I'll be going into Group C, which will now become Group A. And this one will become Group C. So Ultimate Dino King will have Group C, and I will have Group A. So give me a sec while I sort everything out. <laughs> oh, it's going to be some payback time. Ghidorah's going to wish he never entered this tournament when I'm done with him. He's going to be picking up pieces of him off the pavement. And yes, for those of you that don't know, this is the guy that knocked me out of my last tournament. Unofficially, because I had a type advantage over his whole team. And it's still, to this day, I am still salty about that game. The time has come for redemption. And to show everyone what should have happened. Right, on to our group, on to group D. Ooh, oh, oh, here we go. 24. <laughs> Bit in the middle, I'm afraid. Hmm, interesting. So we have the Thunderstorm going into Group D. Very fascinating, it. Joining Ultimate Dino Queen. Okay, number 12. <laughs> Hang on, I was just here. So number 27. Okay, I'll just count from the top just to be sure. Oh, it's the, it's the Wind Guy. I th yeah, it is the Wind Guy. So the Wind Guy will be going into Group E. And I forgot, I forgot his bloody name. Jeremy Blue Scott. Interesting. Um, I think that's a good draw. After I forgot Slifer for Sky Dragon X's team. I'm sorry. I'm just, oh, it's not a good draw because he's got because they got Gigas. <laughs> uh, could be tough. Could be a tough group that could be for Jeremy Blue Scott. 
All right, now for Group F. Let's see who will join Diddy Darius. Number 12. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, it's one of the naughty boys. Dino Hug going into Group F. And yes, I, sh I shall remember to put minus 4 down before I forget. Okay, now let's do Group G. Number, oh, easy, easy one. Number 36. So that is 39, 38, 30. Ooh, fool's cap. Fool's cap going into group G. All right, now for number 21. That is, oh, that's Blood Moon. So Blood Moon will be joining La Poke in group H. Blood Moon did pretty well in the group stage last time. Oh, 32, nice easy one. Before, oh, that's Morslet. Morslet being drawn out. Going into group I with Zalos. All right, interesting group so far. Interesting groups. All right, now to see who will join me and Ghidorah in group A. Number 21. Oh, it's, oh, we got the newbie. We got Michaela joining us in group A. So I well, had, an, had an itch. All right, back to it. 35 we shall go to 23 okay i think it's around about by here but i'm just gonna double check to be sure oh that's heady heady's gonna be joining louse and pilk in group b Ooh, that could be a, a lot of could be a lot of group of deaths in this tournament but they could all be groups group of deaths to be honest number 17 oh, okay i'm pretty sure i know who it is but i'm gonna double check as i always do yeah i thought it was moloch horridus Moloch Horridus is going to be going into Group C with Ultima Dino King. Oh, that, that might actually be a good group to be in, because obviously Iron Dan has the points deduction, so it could be easier to get out of that group. Oh, number 28. Okay, that's a nice easy one. So, that should be 33, 32, 31, 30, 29. Ooh, Gypsy Danger, the newcomer. Go with joining Ultima Dino Queen in Group D. Okay, now for 32. Ah, oh, nice. Ah. Oh. Stay down here. 31, 30, 29, 28. Dino Smash. Dino Smash. Going into Group E. All right, let's find out who shall be going into Group F. Number 13. Ooh, I think that might be the naughty toddler left over. Oh, it's not. It's Ratchet. Ratchet going into Group F. Group F looks like a decently... Looks like a decent group so far. Okay, now, who do we have? Yeah, we've got three more to place now. Number eight. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's going to be Dino Hunter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, it's going to be one of these guys. It's Random Guy 86. Random Guy 86 going into Group G. Again, these groups seem to be a bit more open, and these ones at the top seem to be a lot more competitive, which is, which is not good for me. Right, let's find out who will be going into Group H. Number 14. Ooh, that's MEJP10 going into Group H. A uh, good group for, I think a good group for Emmy there. Has a much better, I feel like has a much better chance of getting out the group stage this time. Right, now, as for Group I, it's number 19. Oh, it's this guy, it's uh, Mar Marissa Kurosame going into Group I with Zalos and Mouse. All right, before we start with the uh, fourth placements, just just wanted to like highlight all of these so I don't get too confused. So yes, we have three, 27 people left the place. So let's continue. Number 19, 17, 18. Ooh. Oh, nice. Uh, wouldn't say favorable, a, a decent opponent in group A. Could be a tough one. Could be a tough one for Cerno's strongest fairy. Going into group A there. <laughs> And actually, that will be our first matchup of this tournament. We will see Ghidorah going up against Cerno's strongest fairy. Well, technically, I should play first because I'm the host. But, um, well, it doesn't matter now. I, I didn't do it that way because I didn't know where I'd be placed. <laughs> but, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'll still feature in the first video. Okay, so now fill you in. Make sure I don't count you. Okay, number nine. That should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's the naughty boy. It's Dino Hunter going into group B with Laus. Make sure I put the minus four down. Oh, that's gonna be a tough group for Dino Hunter there. 
might be a short stay in the tournament with that points deduction. Right, Yo, now. Now on to Group C. Okay, that's number 20. So that should be 20. Ooh, Balazos. Balazos going into Group C. Joining up, joining the champ Ultimate Dino King. It's going to be a tough start for Balazos, so taking on Ultimate Dino King in the first match. Oh yeah, and I forgot that Laos will be going up against Dino Hunter in the first match of Group B. Could be a, could be a good good matchup for Laos. Good matchup there. Alright, as for Group D, let's find out who Ultimate Dino Queen's opponent will be in the first match of that group. Number 12. Hang on, did I... Oops, I forgot to fill that in, but yeah, we got number 12. That should be... Might be Shin Dominus, maybe? Then, oh no, it's Gecko. It'll be Ultimate Dino Queen versus Gecko in the first match of Group D. Well, whoever goes in here is going to have a tough start because you're facing the top, the top eight guys from last time. So yeah, it's not going to be easy for those guys. Okay, now on to Group E. Oh, number two, a nice easy one. Xeno Slick Goku going into Group E. Taking on... I think it's Cypher Sky Dragon X, yeah. Ooh, they might have faced each other before. Taking on Slifer Sky Dragon X there. Oh, now, again, nice and easy. Arctic Warriors going into Group F. Arctic Warriors did... Was it Arctic Warriors? No, it was Dan X Tactile that was undefeated in the group stage. But yeah, it could be an interesting... Looks like a good group there for Arctic Warriors Group F. Group F seems to be a fav more favourable group, especially with Dino Hug on the minus po four points. Group F definitely up for grabs there. Arctic Warriors got a good draw, I think. Okay, number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, that's Adolf Adams. Adolf Adams going into group... Uh, I forgot what it is now. <laughs> group G and will be taking on Nopi in, the, in his first match of this tournament of Group G. Could be an interesting match up there. Nopi not to be trifled with. Right, now for Group G. That's a number five. That is one, two, three, four. Ooh, Dinosaur Queen 777. I believe Dinosaur Queen was in Group... No, no, she was in Group F last time. But she'll be taking on Lepoke in the first match of Group H. But yeah, not, a, not a, a, good, a good draw there for Dinosaur Queen. I think these bottom groups tend to be, I feel like, at the better end of the stick, if you get what I mean. Number four. Ooh, I think that's going to be one, two, three. Ooh, Dark Ash Star. Again, some up here now. Awesome. Dark Ash Star going into group I. Again, that could be a decent draw for Dark Ash Star. So yes, we have four. We have four. Well, we're pretty much past the halfway mark of the group stage draw at this point. So, let's continue. Number 14. Ooh, Engineer Gaming being drawn into Group A. Oh, Group A is looking quite intense there. No, that's that's going to be another matchup in Group A in the first round. Engineer Gaming taking on Michaela. And then I'll take on whoever gets drawn in by you first. Oh, look at Group A though. Feistly competitive there. Why do I always get the competitive groups? I'd like a nice easy group for once. Alright, group B. Let's see who will be facing off against Hedy in the first... Well, second match of group B. Number seven. Well, I don't know why there's a blank page by here, but we'll have to sort that out. Okay, what was it again? Number seven. One, two, three, four. Oh, hang on, I forgot to fill that in. Ooh, Jack McSeven. Ah, interesting. I think Laos has got a good draw so far. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good group for Laos so far. And it'll be Jack McSevenar going up against Hedy. Again, an interesting matchup there. Well, I'm not going to say a matchup is boring, am I? <laughs> Alright, time for... Ooh, number three. Oh, okay, I think that's going to be... Yeah, that's seven shots. Ooh, seven shots going into Group C. Going into Group C with a champion ultimate Dino King. Ooh, that's going to be a good group. C going to be an interesting group there. And it'll be... Seven shots going up against Moloch Horridus. Right, now for Group D. Ooh, I, I know who that is. I know who that is. I'm pretty convinced that that is. Yep, that is our man, Elpigozzi. Elpigozzi going into Group D. 
and his first opponent is going to be Gypsy Danger. Oh, like a group D, that's a compa that's a good group there. No, I don't want to change anything. Well, it'll only be out because if he gives me a if he finishes his buzzy team. <laughs> Alright, group E now. Number seven. So, yeah. Oh, Shin Dominus. A, he a real heavyweight. Well, one of the debutants I expect to do well in this tournament. Shin Dominus going into Group E. Ooh, that could be... F that's going to be tough. It's going to be an open... I think all these groups are going to be wide open, to be honest. All right, now for Group F. So that's number eight. So that shall be seven. Ooh, Dino Nerd. Dino Nerd going into Group F. Wow, Group F is looking quite competitive there. All right, now for Group G. Number nine. Okay, I'll scroll down to the bottom real quick. Oh, it's Heavy Weapons Guy. Heavy Weapons Guy going into Group F. And his first opponent in his debut matchup will be... Tournament will be against Random Guy 86. And Dino Nerd will be taking on Ratchet and Shin Dominus against Dino Smash. All right, as for Group H, we have number two. Okay, that's... I think that is... Cryo? No. no. Oh, the undefeated Danix Tactile. Yet to be defeated in a group stage matchup of my tournament. Going into Group H again. I think he was in Group H last time. And his first opponent is going to be Emmy JP10. Ooh, tough opening for Emmy there. Facing someone who's never lost a group stage match. Well, in my tournament anyway. Okay, as for Group I... Number two. Oh, okay. I think that's Cryo. I'm pretty sure that was Cryo Nova. Yes, it's Cryo Nova. Finally getting called up there. Going into Group I. Oh, that's a, that's a decent draw for Cryo. All right. Now we have nine combatants left and nine spaces to fill. So we still have Astarion, Jonas Chu, Lawrence Deal, Alpha Trooper, Toga Nightmare, DBW's Original Gangsters 2, Yamazanadu, Random Shy Ghost, and the Champions Team. Let's find out who will go where. Alright, let's conclude Group A with... Number 7. Ooh, so my first opponent in this tournament is going to be Yamazanadu, a newcomer. That could be interesting. Although, I don't have a good record on the opening matches of tournaments. I always seem to lose at the first match, so... Yamazanadu might fancy his chances. But look at that for Group A. That's an interesting Group A there. Like, well, I'm the favourite because I'm always the favourite. <laughs> no, it's, it's I'll talk about the groups at the end. Number five, so eight, seven, six, and that should be... Ooh, ooh, that's a, that's a good group for Toka, actually. Now that I think about it, that's a good group. But Toka Nightmare going into Group B with Laos, and his first matchup will be against Pilk. But yeah, that's, that seems a favourable group for Toka there. Maybe maybe their time of getting screwed over in my tournaments has ended. Let's see who will join Ultimate Dino King in Group C. Number 6. Ooh, I think that is... Oh, another newcomer, Random Shy Ghost. Hmm, that's... Now, that's definitely a favourable group for Ultimate. I mean, for a start, you got Iron Dan on minus 2 points. But yeah, that's a good group for Ultimate, in my opinion. And I fully expect him to get out of that group. No pressure. All right, let's see Group D. And actually, yes, Random Shy Ghost will be going against Iron Dan first. All right, let's have a look at Group D now. Oh, oh, the Champions team is going into Group G D. Oh, that could be a competitive group there, because the Champions team is a bot team, but it's not a team to be trifled with. Ultimate Dino Queen will have to watch its tail, watch her tail there. Okay, as for Group E, we have number four, so it'll be five. And it should be, if I'm correct, Alpha Trooper. Alpha Trooper going into Group E. Mm, yeah, a very open group, I feel, this group could be. Okay, as for Group F, we have number two. So that should be... Yeah, that is Jonas Chu going into Group F. Jonas Chu had a good start in my last tournament, but it kind of petered out for the guy. Hoping to do better this time. Okay, we should have three combatants left. And that is Lauren Steele, Astarion, and it should be someone down by... And, D and Dog2. So let's find out who will be going next. Oh, is Dog2 going next? Going into Group G, I see. 
the only the only uh, the only combatant in the to in tournament history to get a 3-0 win and i'm sure he'll want to do that again and his first matchup will be against fool's cap hamata all right now for group h so group h all we have left are lauren Steele and astarion okay so lauren Steele is going into group h and then obviously astarion will be going into group i well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the group draw. Oh, <laughs> um, some interesting, interesting matchups we could be seeing here. Okay, let's have a look at my schedule as an example. So my first opponent shall be against Yamazanadu, which could be an interesting matchup because I always seem to lose the first match of my tournament. You know, the last time I lost to Ultima Dino King. Time before that, I lost to Dino Gasmania. So, yes. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have a good record on the opening day. So Yamazanadu might fancy her chances. And then we'll have Engineer Gaming against Michaela. Um, that could be an interesting matchup. Engineer Gaming might fancy their chances against the newcomer. Let's have a quick look at their teams real quick. Okay, so Earth Fire Lightning. Earth Fire Lightning. Oh, it's quite an even match actually. Um mm. You could say Engineer Gaming might have the edge with the if the Panoplosaurus gets to the Super Toro, but yeah, a pretty even match. It could go either way. And then obviously we have Ghidorah taking on Cerno Strongest Fairy. Cerno Strongest Fairy has a, a good opening match for um, Ghidorah there, I think. I think they have Armatus in their team. I'll have to double check. <laughs> it's hard to remember everyone's teams. Oh no, Shant, Spino and Eokar. Okay, interesting. This guy actually would have a... Actually, yeah, this guy has the type advantage over the Shant and the Spino. And, well, I suppose you could say the Eo as, as well. So, Cerno might actually fancy their chances in this matchup. But, of course, as Ghidorah we're talking about, and type advantages don't face that guy, do they? <laughs> but, yeah, Cerno might fancy their chances of an upset. So, yeah, group... Hey, looking very open. And then obviously, well, the big match will be round two when I take on Ghidorah and hopefully stuff him into the dirt. So yeah, Group A looking pretty good. Okay, Group B, I would probably say Laos and Toka will probably be the standout two for me. And the two I think will get through out of this group. And then other than that, well, I don't think Dino Hunter's going to get through. I'd probably say it's between these three for third and fourth if will be enough. But yeah, that's going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on the upcoming matches of the tournament. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.